Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll help you on how to obtain the Midnight Blade Cosmetics and the Midnight Blade Mask. This is the first time we're able to get a mask that looks like a bandana. Looks pretty awesome! Not only the mask is cool looking, but also the full clothing set is. It might be the new favorite tucking outfit for some of you pirates. The set also comes with new hairstyles and a new beard. You can find every cosmetic inside the general clothing shop that's located on every outpost. To get the full clothing set, you need to complete 9 combinations that came with the buried treasures in season 5. We'll go over each one of them and of course with some tips on how to complete them. Let's start with the easy ones. The Catching Ray and Adventurous Eve combinations will unlock the Midnight Boots and Gloves. To complete this one, you'll have to catch a view on the highest peaks. One in the Ancient Isles and the other one in the Shores of Plenty. In this video, we'll show you where the location is, but if you need a more detailed video on how to get there, you can check out the video that's showing up on the right of your screen. The island you need to go to for the Ancient Isles is Splendor Valley. The best way to park at the southwest of the island and shoot yourself up on top of the island. The place you need to be is next to the beacon. For the shores of plenty, you need to make your way to Smuggler's Bay. You can park your ship inside the island and once again Shoot yourself on top of the island to get to the highest peak around the middle of the island. After you've done these, the boots and gloves are yours. The Hair of the Tricksters commendation. To complete this one, you need to set traps by burying primed gunpowder barrels. Best way to do this is going to a skeleton fort. The place is full of kegs. Once you arrive, collect the 10 gunpowder kegs. Then you can bury them on the island itself. You will notice no treasure map will be added to your quest log, but it will still count towards the commendation. Doing this will grant you the midnight eye patch and peg leg. Next is the hot seat commendation. For this one, you need to take a seat on an island in the Devil's Roar while its volcano erupts. You can do this a safe way by going to any random island with a volcano on it. Sit down at the docks and wait till the volcano starts erupting. Just keep in mind that it mostly goes the same as with the megalodons. When you want something to spawn or happen, it will take forever. These things only happen when you don't want it to happen. If you don't like to wait, just head to an already active volcano and shoot yourself over to the island or just crash onto the island with your ship if you don't care to sink. Once you're on the island, look for a spot where you can sit down and the commendation is yours. This will unlock the Midnight Blade Hook. Another easy commendation you need to unlock is Down with the Ship. To complete this one, you need to sit in the captain's chair of your galleon when it sinks. Simply create a new game with the galleon and crash it into the rocks. After you got some holes in it, Take a relaxed seat into the captain's chair and watch it sink. Or you can make holes by throwing fireballs. Fire also creates holes, but it takes forever. Down with the ship commendation will reward you with the Midnight Blades slim trousers and Midnight Blades beard. Now the next four commendations might be a bit harder to get because it involves other crews. The sleepover commendation for this one, you need to sleep in a bed aboard another cruise ship. Two ways you can do this. First one is, approach a crew that is doing voyages on an island and sneak your way up into their ship and take a quick nap on the bed. It might be easier to try to sneak in on a sloop or a break. A galleon crew mostly has one pirate that stays on the ship to check the horizons to spot approaching ships. This makes it harder for you to get on. The second way is doing this by fighting a crew and take a quick nap when they're all dead. 
or you can go with the rowboat as they're harder to spot and do it like we did. Once you've completed this accommodation, you'll get a Midnight Blades shirt and belt. The next two accommodations can be tried at the same time. The Burying the Past and Nothing to See Here commendations. For these two, you'll need to bury a valuable treasure while another crew is at the same location and bury valuable treasures that were stolen from another crew. Again, try to approach a sloop or a brig while they're doing a voyage. When they're all on the island, hop on their ship and steal a chest or any kind of loot you can find. Pick it up and jump onto the island and bury it as quick as possible. Don't pay attention to the word valuable because this will also work when you find a keg and bury it. Doing these two commendations will unlock you the Midnight Blades jacket and dress, and the Midnight Blades hat and loose trousers. Now the last but not least, the Stolen Secrets commendation. Doing this will get you that awesome Midnight Blades mask. For this one, you need to place a stolen map bundle from another crew onto your table. You can try this the same way as the other commendations. Just try to sneak upon another crew ship. A brig or sloop might be easier. Or you can also fight the crew and steal the map bundle when you've sunk them. Also, never forget to check the enemy ship when you're trying one of the previous commendations. You never know, you're that lucky as we were and you can combine two commendations at the same time. Getting the mask will be the hardest because we've, because we've noticed not many pirates are busy with burying treasures. But never give up! We hope this guide was useful to get your hands on this cool looking outfit. We also hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Shiver me timbers! Arr. Fast, you scary!